it's Chelsea Monet and welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year, you guys. It's 2024. I'm so excited for this new year. I can't wait. I am in recovery and I just can't wait to see what this new year is going to bring. Um, this is the first thread vlog of the new year. And so I'm just really excited to get back into it and to get back into the vibes, you know, you know the vibes. Now, y'all know it's not a thrift trip if your girl don't have her matcha. And granted, I know we canceled them. I know we canceled them. They're still canceled. But somebody gave your girl a gift card for Christmas and we not finna waste no free one of these, period, okay? Hmm. They wrong, yes, they very much so wrong for what they did, but um, I can't let I can't let the gift card go to waste. I can't, I just can't. Today's drink is a matcha latte with white mocha, three pumps of white mocha in it, with strawberry kofa. Y'all, the girl put me on today. She was like, we don't have pumpkin kofa no more, but would you like to try strawberry? And I was like, ooh, why not? Let's do it, let's do it. And y'all, when I tell you, it gives it like a whole nother vibe, like a, a whole nother like, it gives it like a strawberry cheesecake, strawberry creme brulee, like type of vibe. Like, the matcha is so good. Then my girl put me on, I was like, do y'all sell y'all matcha separately? Cause I can make my coffee from home. But I've been trying so many matchas different places and none of them are the same and so when I canceled them I, I just went ahead and canceled every everything and I just make my coffee at home and stuff so I've been trying to make my matcha at home too and all of the matchas I found have like this bitter taste or this aftertaste the bitterness is normal matcha is supposed to be bitter and you make it sweet with honey or agave or any type of syrup but they all have like a little aftertaste. So she was like, I can give you some on the side. Like you can get a couple scoops of matcha on the side. My girl gave it to me for free. Y'all, too excited to make my matcha when I get home, okay? Too excited. And if y'all don't know, your girl love her some Jordan skinny syrups. I don't let me get it for you. Jordan, sponsor me, Jordan, okay? I'm gonna show y'all my cabinet. It's It's, it's it's pretty ridiculous. It is. It, give, it 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 is. I ain't gonna lie to you, but it's giving very much barista. Period. That's one of my new hobbies. Well, it's been it's been a hobby of mine for about a year now, since I've been on this sugar free wave. Um, but yeah. Hmm. Also, guys, I gotta put y'all on. Um, cause I am a reading girly too i've always loved to read when i was in junior high i had my own book club and i recently read moth to a flame by ashley antoinette if you guys have not read that book before i highly highly suggest you go get it it's definitely 10 out of 10 recommend okay i people have been telling me to read that book since i was in high school and i ain't gonna lie i was one of those people that judge a book by its co by a cover and because of the cover, I just was not that interested. Y'all, when I tell y'all, they got so much going on in this book. So much going on in this book. This book will make you cuss. Make you want to throw the book. Make you want to like... Girl, I thought picking up reading again was going to like relax me and like help me escape from the world. Girl, this book had me with anxiety. Because why you don't see this man is manipulating you? Why, why are you acting dumb? <sighs> but yeah, guys, if you guys have not read Moth to a Flame, definitely read it. I am on the first book of ethics. And then, um, then I plan on re reading a Prada plan next, as well as Butterfly. So Ashley Antoinette have a whole... She have so multiple series. And... Let's talk about it in the comments. Like, spoiler alerts, you know, for anybody who haven't read it, but for the people that have read it, let's talk about it in the comments. Let's get into it because I've been trying to get my friends to read it and they just taking too long. Come on with the, come on, I'm ready to talk about it. 
Also guys, look at my nails. I've gotten almond shape before, but usually when I get almond shape, it's always with acrylic. This is my first time getting almond shape with my real nails. And I love it. I thought it was gonna make my real nails look old or make my hands look old, but I love it though. I really do. Um, I feel like it's giving like feminine, classy, like effortless, elegant. And that's always my goal, is to give effortless, okay? Okay guys, I hopped over into Hope Family Thrift and y'all, look at this fur that I found. This was the first thing I put my hands on. She was $14 and so beautiful. Like I could picture her with the all black fit. Then I also saw this mink coat by Jocelyn. Um, I don't really know the brand, but I said I was going to Google it, but she was $200, so I assume she was real. Then I saw this beautiful, beautiful china. Hope Family Thrift has a lot of really good china. They have a bunch of different colors. Um, yellow, red, blue, green, lavender, purple, um, just a bunch of different colors, and I love teapot sets. This was a beautiful set. The last time I came here, they also had a really pretty yellow one. And so I'm waiting to find the perfect teapot set to go with my bar. Because I want one side of my bar to be for coffee and the other side to be for, well, one side to be for coffee and tea. And the other side to be for alcohol. So my husband and I will share that area. But I saw so many unique things that could act as home decor and I told myself this year that I want to um, start thrifting home decor as well like look at these beautiful chocolate plates and I've always wanted to like set up oh my gosh guys look at these plates they are perfect for Easter time um, but as I was saying I always wanted to be that mom that had different decoration for different holidays and if you guys don't know, decorating can get really expensive. And so the best way to decorate is the thrift store. The thrift store, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls. But check the thrift store first because the more you save, the better, of course. And if you want to be like me, decorating for every holiday, two, spending $2 on a nice quality plate is essential. And so... Here I'm just showing you guys like the different color schemes they have. They have different glassware, um, mugs. Like, look how unique this mug is. It's so cute. Then I saw this red dress. It's giving okay, bright. Guys, okay, guys. So Hope Family Thrift was a success. Um, Hope Family Thrift is a great thrift store when it comes to China. Like, I loved all of their china. The fact that they had china in so many different colors, so many different options, shapes. The glassware was mwah, impeccable. Um, the thrift store is perfect for glassware if you guys want to have like a cute little cocktail or even a cute little latte or, or something of that nature. Um, and then like the plates, you guys, the plates were so heavy duty for like two and four dollars. Like it was definitely giving real China, not the fake, okay? I'm definitely getting into home decor when it comes to thrifting as well. Like I don't wanna just look at just the clothes anymore. I wanna look at the home decor as well. And so one of the things that I was looking for in there was um, a coffee bar or a bar cart that I can turn into a coffee bar for my salon suite. And so that way I can start servicing my clients like, you know, while they're under the dry, getting their deep condition or while I'm letting my rosemary shampoo sit in their hair and they're getting this luxury treatment, they can have a luxury coffee as well because your girl thinks she's a barista part-time. And that's one of my new hobbies is coffee, matcha, you know you name it the whole little nine so i would love to build one of those in there and so that's what i was looking for but i didn't find me a bar cart but i did find that fire fire as fur period okay i found that fire fur and i also found like a cold brew maker a curate cold brew maker um i'm really excited about that because tanya on tiktok taught me how to make cold brew at home and so 
now I wanted a cold brew pitcher, which is pretty much a pitcher with a filter in it. And Amazon was selling them damn pitchers for $30. I got that pitcher for $4, okay? That's what I'm talking about, those types of savings. Y'all already know what it is, period. We got the snacks. We at the wheel. Quick look. All right, guys. So the first thing I found at Goodwill today was this Tommy Hilfiger sweatshirt. It was $11 and it was definitely giving like oversized vibes. It was giving me 90s vibes as well. And I thought it was really cute. Then I saw this colorful dress. I like the colors on it, but I didn't like the style or the shape. So your girl had to leave that there. Then I saw this beautiful cheetah nightgown. Lately, I've been really intentional about upgrading my nighttime wear and just making it more sexy and just more beautiful so I can feel beautiful as well as, of course, it will benefit the hubby. And so one of my good friends that always have beautiful nightgowns on when I come over to her house, she told me that she gets her nighttime wear from the thrift store. So I was like, okay, let me check them out. Because usually I would always pass it up. And like this nightgown was $2. The cheetah one was $3. They have two-piece sets like I showed before. Those were 5 and $8. Then I even saw this mesh bodysuit that I thought was really cute. That I, maybe I could wear for like a date night and have like a cute little peekaboo moment with my husband. And maybe put a blazer over it or even wear it with some trousers, you know, to make it a little classy, but a little nasty <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, guys, I've been finding a lot of good pajama sets as well as nighttime wear in a thrift store. And uh, for me, I just try to get, you know, items that don't have a, like, I guess you can say a panty area or items that look brand new. But of course, all these pieces you're going to wash anyway. But look at this Victoria's Secret um, pajama set as well as the set right in front of it was from Shein. Both of the items were brand new. And I think this set was $8.99. Like, that's super cheap because at Victoria's Secret, you're gonna pay $30 for that one set. Then I, I had also like this color of this nightgown, but as you can see, this one, was a little bit more worn and torn, so I ended up leaving her there. But yeah, guys, when it comes to these pajamas, I just try to make sure they are brand new, or if not brand new, maybe only worn once or twice with no snags or anything of that nature. This Shein set was so cute. I feel like the pants you could probably wear outside as regular outside wear, but it's definitely given elevated luxury, okay? So guys, the next thing I put my hands on is this lime green skirt and it was so beautiful. Y'all, this is one of my biggest regrets because I love the ruffles and I did not get this piece. It was only $8 and I really should have taken it off the, the hanger and tried it on. But when I saw that it said 2X, I don't know why I ended up putting it back, but I tailor all of my things anyway. So I definitely should have tried it on, but I love this piece. This piece stayed on my mind for so long after I left the thrift store. And of course, when I went back, it wasn't there. Um, then I saw this like red ruffle dress. It was okay. As well as I saw this double breasted crop top blazer with a cheetah like little hem on it. I felt like the cheetah gave it some pizzazz. And this is one of my regret pieces as well because I talked myself out of getting this piece as well. And I have a fedora that, a black fedora that has like a cheetah belt on it. And I don't know, guys, sometimes I get in these modes where I am like on super save mode and I don't want to spend any money, but I genuinely like to shop. Even if I'm not spending money, I still like to shop and put pieces together. And so I also found this Christmas sweater, which was so cute. And it was $6. And I talked myself out of getting this piece as well. There were no buttons missed or no beads missed. And I could have definitely put that together with a like plain white bun down and some trousers. And I also found this Marilyn Monroe um, graphic tee. It was only $2. White, white, pants. 
They are a size too big, but I think they honestly fit perfect. I got my tights on underneath here, so I'll just wear them with my tights. Okay, y'all, so these pants are from Express, okay? They are a size two. Y'all, I'm even surprised that I can even put a thigh, a piece of thigh up in these pants, okay? But y'all see this waist? The pants, the waist part is definitely too small. But you see how it's snatching me in? I think I might have to get these for whenever I'm not bloated. Your girl bloated right now and it's showing. But I love the pleats in these pants. And they straight leg, somewhat wide leg. And this caramel color, oh my gosh, I love the caramel color. Okay guys, these are men's trousers. These are the ones with pleats and pockets which is my favorite type of style to get. These are a size 29, and they fit me perfectly. But I don't know if I like this color, honestly. Y'all, look at this Moo Moo. She's so pretty. You look good, Moo Moo. So guys, then I saw this Hillary Banks dress, and the straps were belts. And I thought that was so cute. And so imagine this dress with like a white turtleneck and some black stockings and some boots. Definitely giving Hillary Banks, okay? But it was $14.99 and I felt like that was kind of expensive for that dress. And then I saw these cream color leather plants or pleather pants because um, I don't think it was real leather. Those were $10. And then I saw these like... Um, just some plain denim pants. I've been looking for some good denim pants that fit me really well. And those were $8.99. Then I saw this purple blazer. I love the color of the blazer, but I don't like the green buttons or the green interior. That just reminded me of Beetlejuice. Okay. But I love the purple pinstripe. Like if the inside was like white or black, I think it would look a lot better. And so here's me trying on the dress. She wasn't given like I thought she would. Like, I don't know if I needed my faja underneath to be given more body or what, but I ended up leaving her there. Then I ended up going to another Goodwill when I was in Houston, and the first thing I put my hands on was this yellow bag. I love the color, I love the shape, but it wasn't big enough for me. Then I found this, like, gold antique distressed looking blazer i thought it was so fire okay so fire with all black fit and uh, of course you guys know i love a piece of hounds too but y'all this is my biggest regret in this video this pink velvet blazer so fire she was 30 dollars, but the line was way too long and i was in a rush and of course that's the first rule of thrifting don't thrift when you're in a rush thrift when you have time okay and I was in a rush and I had to get to meeting my mom. And so um, I wasn't able to stand in line to get her because the line was so long. But y'all, I thought about that blazer over and over and over. And I still think about that blazer to this day. Just like I still think about that Gucci bag that I left in that store. Ugh, I just know I would have wore that blazer down. Okay, but um, then I found this red dress. I thought she was cute. I liked the ruffles on the arms and at the bottom, but seemed like one of the ruffles were missing. This particular Goodwill had a lot of different clothing items. Like, they were fully, fully stocked, almost overstocked. But, honestly, the only th good thing I found in there was the pink blazer. And, of course, you guys know I had to check out the pajama section, but they didn't really have any good nightgowns, but I did find this robe. But she was all right. I also have found these key glasses. A lot of people pronounce those quay, but it's pronounced key. As well as this gold cho choker. And I thought that was cute. And then they had this necklace slash bracelet set. I went over to Thrift Emily Thrift Center. And I had my husband and my baby with me. And of course, guys, thrifting with other people is so hard. But I'm still trying to teach him how to thrift and how to shop um, sustainably and to save money while you spend money and so this thrift store was huge okay I really didn't know where to start and so I just went ahead and started at the accessories and the shoes then I got so excited when I saw their handbag collection they had so many handbags and I've been on a hunt to find another vintage um, high-end handbag 
And so the first thing I found was this chocolate coach bag. I love the color, but I didn't like the shape. Um, and here's the authentication card or uh, tag in the inside. She was $12. And I thought that was pretty good for this bag. But I ended up leaving her there. Um, but she was so pretty. So, so, so pretty. Then I saw this chocolate bag. I had liked the shape. But then a part of me felt like the shape was kind of giving grandma. A little bit of grandma, mama, papa. I had it. <laughs> um, but then I also found this black backpack. It was just a plain, simple black pack, but I've been looking for a leather crossbody bag to add some fur to it. And I feel like you can't go wrong with a black backpack. So after the handbags, I went and checked out the coats because you guys know I love a good coat. And the first thing I found was a mink fur. I don't know, guys. I think this is just a video for all the furs and all the minks, honey. All the rabbits and all the cougars. Nah. <laughs> but um, at this point, I didn't found like three different furs in this one vlog. And of course, I had to try her on and model her a little bit. I wish she kind of went down to the floor. She was $200 as well. But it really don't get that cold in Texas. So I don't know who was wearing this fur but and who dropped it off here. But it really don't be that cold in Texas, honestly. Then I also found this leather jacket. I was trying to give the Pinterest girly look, you know, when they be wearing the leather jackets down to the floor. But my husband was like, absolutely not. <laughs> it's way too big on you. And then, you guys, I found a couple of more leather jackets. I've been, in, been on the hunt to find the perfect leather jacket. But the one on the left was too short. And then this one, it's just, like I said before, it really don't get that hot in, or no, that cold in Texas. So I left it there. Then I saw this really cute orange leather jacket, but it was way too cropped. Then my husband found this tan blazer, which I thought was really nice. He's so particular about the fit. And I had to remind him that he has on a hoodie underneath. So once he takes the hoodie off, it's going to fit perfect. He also found this blazer, but I really wasn't a big fan of it. And so I made him put it back because if I don't like it, then no. <laughs> nah, he doesn't. He'll wear things that he likes that I don't like. And, you know, it's just it's whatever he wants. But I my opinion weighs in heavy. And so I also found this black leather jacket. This one was my favorite, but I felt like the length was kind of awkward. Like I wish it would have went further down to the floor. Um, but other than that, the fit was perfect for this one. And then this is me showing you guys how cropped the orange one was. If it would have came to like the top of my shorts, that would have been perfect for a nice edgy look. But that one was way too cropped for me. Then my husband found this baby blue blazer, which I loved. I love the color. As well as he found this plaid blazer, which was really cute. Not for him, but for me. And I don't know, I liked it. But I ended up leaving it in the store. All right, guys. If you guys made it to the end of this video, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Definitely like this video. If you like this type of content, it helps you to push my videos to more people that like thrifting, fashion, and beauty. Um, comment down below which was your favorite find of mine. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.